Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the filter function in Excel. This is one of the new dynamic array functions that Excel came out with. It's only available in Office 365 and it uses the spill functionality that Excel recently introduced. So let's take a look at the filter function in Excel. So here I have a data range in columns A through F, and I want to filter that data and have the results appear in this range here based on the criteria that I'll indicate. So I'll go to cell H2 and I'll type equals filter tab, and you can see the arguments are array, include, and if empty. So my array in this case would be this range here, comma, my criteria or my include, which is the criteria, would be, for example, let's say I wanted to pull in all the data where the country is USA. So I would select this range here equals, and then in quotes, USA, close my parentheses, hit enter, and now Excel pulled in all the information or all the data from my array where the country included USA. Notice in cell H2 is where I have my formula. Any other cell that I click in in this range, the formula bar, the filter function is grayed out. I can't make any change. I can't delete it. I can't go up to here and eliminate it. The only cell that I can make any changes in is cell H2 where the original formula was. Now, I can also do a multiple criteria option. Let's say I want to pull in any data where the country is USA and the region is Northwest. Well, what I would need to do is, first, I'm gonna put my original criteria in parentheses here, times, and then I'll set a new open parentheses. This area, or my column C, equals, and then in quotes, Northwest. Close that quote, close my parentheses, hit enter, and now I have two items where the country is USA and the region is Northwest. Now I can also do OR criteria. So let's say I want to see where the country is Mexico or the region is Central. And what I need to do here is instead of using the multiplication symbol, I would use a plus sign. So this indicates where this range is Mexico or this range is central. I'll hit enter and notice either it says Mexico here or the two items, USA and Canada, that appear in the country. Those regions are in central. And again, to show if there is no data, the optional argument, if empty, I'm going to just type in no data. So for example, if I had a scenario where I wanted the country to be Spain, again, I would get no data there because none of the items in my array met that criteria. So that's how you can use the filter function in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling.